Engineers certainly are very curious people and you'll find that they're always asking questions about, you know, they're shown a new device or they're given a new tool to work with. They'll ask how it was designed, how it was put together and how it works and spend time figuring it out. Um, you know, when it comes to, to my work, I mean, it's the same thing just on a slightly larger scale. We're talking about large infrastructure projects. We're essentially asking the question, you know, this is how it works at the moment, and um, this is what we wanted to do, and how do we get from where we are now to where we want to be? I guess when I was growing up as a teenager, I was curious to know how things were built, how things were put together, how things worked. Well, UCD is a great place to be. You, know, you have the opportunity to meet all sorts, really. And I had friends from probably every faculty in the university. People go all over the globe with uh, their engineering degree in their back pocket. Um, and I think it gives you a, a very sound basis for progressing into other things. The one thing UCD does very, very well is looking to the future. And also, it's changing the way it delivers its courses um, to suit changing environments, to suit what employers are looking to get from its graduates. That forward-thinking attitude that UCD has, I think it, it strikes a chord with me. I'm, I'm given the opportunity to be involved and provide feedback to how the college might de develop in the future. My position in Airgrid is Senior Project Manager within the Transmission Projects Department. Now, Airgrid already has under construction at the moment the East-West Interconnector, which has the capacity of, of a medium to large size power station. In, in terms of the investment and, and the work that's taking place by Airgrid at the moment, I mean, East-West Interconnector has a budget of 600 million euro. And the added benefit of the East-West Interconnector is that it has a two-way flow capability. So, for those instances when we don't have wind blowing, we don't have wind power on our system, we can rely on that that's generated over in the UK, for example, where they can spill excess power that's been generated over there into the Irish market. That has a further impact of driving down electricity prices as well, because we have a, a exposure to much larger markets. For me, individually, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a very exciting job to be in. It shows that you know, a relatively small company like Airgrid, an Irish company, purely Irish company, state-owned, is going out and, and leading the field and getting involved in cutting-edge design, using and, and developing its own experts. Grid 25 would be the most important aspect of my job. I'm, my key role is to help in the delivery of that programme. Um, we're seeing a switch now from the more traditional uh, forms of, of electricity generation of, you know, fossil fuel-based um, uh, generation more towards renewables and particularly wind and wave. That's what Grid 25 is all about. It's about taking the renewable energy that's available to the Irish consumers and bringing it to them. It's absolutely key for us and we're fully aware that we cannot do everything that we say we want to do without the buy-in of the Irish public. The Grid 25 programme would be um, as significant as, say, the Ardna Crusha hydropower development back in the 1930s in Ireland, which was a, a world leader at the time. But we need to ensure that for the long-term future that we have a proper connection between the generation source and where it's being used. And that's where Airgrid comes in, essentially. We are the operator and the planner of the, the Irish transmission system. The Grid 25 programme is a spend of 3.2 billion over the next 10 to 15 years. Um, this is not just something that's going to happen in the future or that we're saying probably will happen, it's actually happening. To date we've already committed over 1.6 billion into projects which are taking place and are now underway in Ireland. I'm very proud to say that I'm, I'm from UCD. Um, it carries a lot of weight actually with, with employers and with colleagues. Um, I guess I did learn an awful lot more than I figured at the time. UCD for me was not just about engineering, it was about taking on a course to get me on the right footing for the rest of my career and the rest of my life really.